Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, we are going to talk about Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. Advent calendars. Oh my goodness. Some of these go for crazy money and they don't have to be super fancy. So let's get started. All right. So the first item, let me get it on screen share, is the Avon calendar. I think most of you know about the Avon calendar. If you watch my channel, you've heard me talk about it before. I'm actually going to put in a short clip from the Rebel reseller. Hi, my name is Rebel and I'm the Rebel Reseller and today I'm doing my This Is My Bolo. This is for Courtney. Before I even show this, I want to thank her so much for all the support that she's given my channel and me. She has been a really great friend, keeping me encouraged to keep making these videos. My Bolo is, I've picked this up at a church sale for $3.00. Definitely keep your eyes open. It is Avon. I'm going to take it out of the package. But this is one of the Christmas countdown calendars. This is from 1987. The thing is, there's several of these, I believe, because I've seen one that had maybe a Santa Claus. This one has the mouse. So even if you find something that looks like this that's tagged Avon, definitely pick it up if you're at the bins digging. But... This sold on Etsy for $139.99. But let's look at some of these sold comps here. Just incredible. And if you don't know, you can also just sell the mouse. The mouse as a replacement. So you can sell the calendar without the mouse also. And people actually make replacement mice. Um, they'll sell them They'll make them and sell them. I, I don't know what the rules are for putting Avon in the title or how that works because it's not made by Avon. So be careful with that. If you um, hand make things, I, I don't know how you would do that. But I have seen them sold before because a lot of times it's missing the mouse. But these are a big money bolo with the mouse or without the mouse and even selling the mouse separately. So that is the number one advent calendar that I think is probably easier to find. Not easy to find, but easier to find than maybe some of these other ones we're going to see that go for huge money. So let's get started with the first one. Um, I actually um, am just going to kind of go through. These are going to be all mixed up as far as price points and different things. And we're going to look at Mercari and Poshmark also. And we're going to talk about why um, when we get to that. This one is Department 56. And when I do these videos, I look to see if the item actually has feedback to help me determine if the item actually sold. And I will tell you on eBay, people do not seem to want to leave feedback. Um, so a lot of the items, it's hard to tell. So there's not a whole lot from eBay, but anything Department 56 is definitely worth looking up. These are like little wooden um, things that have been popped out of the bottom. So this one is pre-owned and sold for $55 plus shipping. This is the Avon Christmas Avon Advent Tree. So this is also made by Avon. It's a music box. It's from 1996 and the little drawers open. So definitely be on the lookout for this one also. This is a rare spring gardening advent calendar potting shed filled with gardening treasures. So I'm going to say anytime that you can find an advent calendar that has the little pieces and it's complete and it's different, definitely consider looking it up. And if it's cheap, I would probably just pick it up. Um, kind of the same thing with nativity sets. They have a tendency to do really well also. This one sold for 110 plus shipping. This one is, um, oh, Grand Noir. Oh, I'm probably saying that wrong. Noel, San it's a Santa's workshop advent calendar. And here it is. And it has, um, let's see, it looks like it's wood. And it's got the little drawers. And it does look like it's got little uh, figures that go in it. And it is complete. This one sold for $120. Uh, looks like it's even broken here. 
I wish it showed the little figures better. It just looks like they're all wrapped in little uh, plastic, but you probably put them into like this little dollhouse, which is really, really fantastic. Okay, this one is a Kurt Adler. It's musical and it's animated. It is also wood. And this one sold for $139.39. And they're just showing the different pictures of how it probably rotates on the top. And it looks like these are probably drawers that pop open and you probably put your own things in them. The next item is this My Step 2, my first advent calendar. This is one of those big ones for kids, small children. Um, I've actually sold this one in the past and it is definitely a bolo and mine sold quickly. So um, it's, it's kind of a pain to ship because it's so big, but this one sold for $124.95 plus shipping. Mr. Christmas. Mr. Christmas is one of those that you always want to look up also, but this is a musical advent calendar and this one sold for $125. So it looks like it's also animated and uh, functions. So definitely a little bolo there. Now here are the ones that are probably going to be a little bit harder to find, but they also go for bigger money. And I did not know about this one. So this is LL Bean and I sold saw a whole bunch of this style in particular. It's from the 1980s. It's wood. This one is more simple. Um, I don't know why the picture's not pulling up for me there. But anyway, $149.99 on this. And again, I saw multiples that have gone in this high dollar price range for this LL Bean. But check this one out. Oh, this is another Avon one. Disregard, we already talked about Avon. Here is another one. This is a large, unique Christmas advent 3D wooden house cabin. Again, this is probably going to be a harder to find item. It's super, super cute. Like the windows open. There's little, uh, little places to put your little uh, figures. But this one looks like it's broke. Like the door's missing there. And I think maybe the doors are missing on there also. Or maybe those are just open spots. Not 100% sure. But this one sold for $225 plus shipping. Here is another L.L. Bean. This is the Ski Lodge uh, Revolving Advent Calendar. Super cool item, L.L. Bean. Look for L.L. Bean because these are the big money ones. Who would have guessed L.L. Bean sold advent calendars, right? $299 on that one. And here is the L.L. Bean train uh, from the 1980s. Another very rare item. It looks like you can put stuff in drawers, but the Christmas trees also open up and you put little gifts in those as well. $399 on that one. So for these category videos, I have been going over to Mercari and Poshmark because on Mercari and Poshmark, basically, you know that the item sold <laughs> because as soon as they buy the item, you ship it. You're automatically paid. You don't have to wait for payment. You go and you ship the item. The buyer has three days to rate you. If they don't rate you, um, the platform automatically just leaves you five star or I don't know if it's five star feedback, but leaves you feedback and you get your payout. So I love Poshmark and Mercari for those reasons. Uh, I use, um, I, I start on eBay. eBay is my main platform, but I do cross post my items to Mercari and Poshmark. I use List Perfectly. There's a link down below that shows you how to use List Perfectly to cross post. And if you decide you want to try it, you can use coupon referral code Bolo Buddies, all one word, and that will get you 30% off your first month. Now, a lot of you guys think that one, I've heard Mercari is just a garage sale app. You can't make a lot of money on Mercari because everybody just lowball gives you lowball offers. That's not true. I sell stuff sometimes for more money on Mercari. Um, I highly recommend Mercari. If you are not on there, there is a link down in the description for both Mercari and Poshmark. You can use that link to join. It's my referral link. So you will get on Mercari, you'll get a $10 credit to shop. And then once you sell $100 worth of stuff on Mercari, you get another $20 to shop. And they also do sometimes like listing promotions. Like if you list this many items, they'll give you a $20 coupon and stuff like that. So Mercari is great for that. And I love to shop on Mercari. So even if you don't want to sell on Mercari, it's a great place to buy personal items and even to source. Poshmark, you get a $10 coupon to shop if you use my referral link down below. So those are down in the description if you want to check out these other platforms. But there are definitely... Um, 
different eyes on your items when you use these platforms. Um, eBay most recently has started doing this as well, where they are putting your money in a credit area and you can use that money to shop. Poshmark and Mercari have always done that. And a lot of people are hobby sellers on these platforms and they just use these platforms to have money to buy other items. So they use it to shop. So they're not even looking on eBay. So if your item is only on eBay, you're missing out on an opportunity to have different eyes on your items. And that is why, one of the reasons why I cross post. So again, list perfectly is down there. It's gonna get your items onto those platforms super fast. Um, definitely check it out. All right, so here is an Avon calendar. And what I was saying is, a lot of people are like, oh, it's not going to sell for as much on Mercari. This one sold on Mercari for $279. I think that was higher than every single one over here on eBay, right? Yeah. I think the highest on eBay was $220. And this one sold for $279 with free shipping. So uh, definitely something to think about. This one does look like it's, um, I don't know if it looks, it, it looks pretty new. Uh, here is one. This is Disney Sum Sum, I think is how you say it. Japan Advent Calendar. Now, this one here, I it says that it's new, but it looks like it's been open to me. So I don't know if this is, I, I don't know. It says unopened. So maybe this is just a picture that they found. But anyway, how cool is this? Definitely keep your eye open for this one. Um, if you can find it new, it's probably going to be worth more. But even if you find it pre-owned, there are collectors out there that will pay big money for these items. This is a mailage Santa Pixie Advent. And I saw another one that sold for a lot of money also. I think these are really, really big. It says hard to find 2021 brand new um, smoke-free home. This sold for $225. This is not something I've ever heard of. But it looks like it's a Santa plush like figure and you put things in the different pockets. This sold for $225. Really cool item there. This is a Disney Christmas advent calendar. Rare, hard to find. Got the original tags. Definitely cool. Looks like it's from Disney store. Sold for $195. Now you can see most of these have little pieces. My suggestion to you would be if you find one of these and it is incomplete, you can sell it in complete or you can also sell the pieces as replacements because more than likely somebody has this and they're missing one of the pieces and they're going to want to find it. Here's another one. This one is Pottery Barn Kids. Again, anything Pottery Barn Kids, look it up. This one is felt. It's a countdown calendar. I also saw um, a countdown calendars by Pottery Barn for Halloween. This one sold for $195 and it says um, that it is pre-owned. This is Restoration Hardware, and I saw a whole bunch of these on eBay that had sold as well, but I could not find proof uh, with feedback, so I did not show any of those, but this is Mercari, so we know that feedback was left and this buyer got paid, so this sold for $180, and uh, the buyer paid the shipping. You can see right here the delivery fee. This is a rare classic vintage Winnie the Pooh advent calendar. This one sold for $270. How incredible is that? Um, I don't know if, let's see. Magnets still in place, hard to find. So condition is used, $270 on that. Christmas holiday advent calendar decor. Uh, this one does not, I'm not seeing. Oh, the brand is Nordstrom. So it looks like it's quite possibly wood and has the little doors and you just kind of put your own thing in there. That one sold for 150. Here's the LL Bean that I talked about on eBay. This one sold for 136 plus shipping over here on Mercari. This is a vintage Avon Christmas countdown. It's the Christmas tree. Now this one sold probably for more because it is in the original packaging. Sold for $123 plus shipping. The next item is this vintage wooden hanging magnetic advent calendar. This one is unbranded. So it looks to me like a department 56 or similar. So the one I showed you on eBay that was department 56, this does really look similar to that. But the one on the department 56, I think they were hanging. 
And this one is magnetic. So I don't think this one is actually Department 56 unless it's a different style. $120 on that plus shipping. Um, on eBay, that would be considered keyword spamming by putting Department 56 or similar to. Don't do that on eBay. That can get your account in uh, trouble. Uh, over on Mercari, when you search in the search, the reason people do that is because it will pick up keywords from the search also. I don't know if Mercari is buckling down on that, how they feel about that. But as a buyer, um, if you go to an item and you think it's Department 56 and then it's at similar to, that might frustrate someone. So I don't recommend doing that. Um, I would leave that out of your description and title. A berry, especially on eBay, it will get you on, uh, it will get you in trouble on eBay for sure. Vintage, a berry Merry Christmas quilt. How cute is this? This is vintage. It's a completed quilt and it sold for $108. And I don't know why it's under Advent. A rare Advent calendar des designed by the Cran uh, Canston print. Canston print. I thought it was Cranston, but maybe it is Canston. So I'm not sure how that works. All right. The next item is this Eddie Bauer vintage Advent quilt. This sold for $105. And you can see right here, it is in the original packaging. This is an Anna Lee. If you're not familiar with Anna Lee, uh, she has, she's an artist and you can tell by their faces. They're usually uh, hand painted and they have a really unique look to them. I'm actually surprised this didn't go for more. I'm wondering if they didn't underprice it. Uh, this one is from 2003 and it looks like it's new old stock. It went for $60 plus shipping. I certainly would have priced this higher, but I did not research it either. So I could be way off. This is a Bucilla Santa toy box advent calendar. This one sold for $57. This is another item that I also feel like they probably could have sold for way more. And the reason I say that is I'm going to take you right now into an advent calendar that I sold and you're going to see more details now. I turned down 125, but somebody offered me 150. So I went ahead and took that. Now, if I would have waited until closer to Christmas, I probably could have got in the $200 range. That's just me speculating because honestly, there's no comps. So $150 for this. I picked this up at a thrift store. Maybe somebody will still want it. All right, here is my bolo. This is a dimensions, but you guys, it is an advent calendar and I cannot find any like it. So I am pricing it very high. I may have to wait until Christmas for it to sell, or it could sell sooner, but I've got it priced at, um, it's on sale right now for $187. I think I can get over $100 for it, but you make the picture cross stitch it or whatever, and then you attach little things to the picture. So it's like an advent. It's super, super cool. The instructions are on it, but um, I, I, couldn't, I could not believe that I could not find any comps. So to me, that tells me that there, there's not a lot around so pretty cool bolo item and I'm hoping for the best. I've sold some cross stitch kits for 75 to, I think I've sold some for over hundred dollars. So um, I know it's possible. Usually it's the dimensions gold that do the best, but I'm just gonna, I'm gonna hold out for that one and wait for the right buyer. Okay, we're back. Let's continue looking at additional advent calendars that sold. Here is this vintage 1989 Christmas countdown um, advent calendar, Santa's Village, and it is fabric. And this one sold for $67. So to me, anytime you can get 50 bucks or more for something, I am like all in. I love that. To me, that's a great uh, big money bolo. So 67 plus uh, shipping on that. All right, let's go over to Poshmark and I'm going to show you something here and it might surprise you. So stay tuned for that. Here is the Avon calendar over here. This one sold for $199. So just letting you know that these are selling on all platforms. Here is the um, uh, Restoration Hardware. This one sold for $187. So it sold for more over here on um, Poshmark. Now, I will say, I don't know how heavy this is, but if the item is more than five pounds, you will have to pay for the additional postage. Um, that will be paid by the seller. So keep that in mind. But anything five pounds or less, 
is going to go for the flat fee of, I think it's like $7.95. So Poshmark is fantastic for board games, things like this that are um, kind of on the heavier side, like four to five pounds that are going to be 10 to $20 to ship on eBay. It's only going to cost you seven something on Poshmark. So keep that in mind and put those items on Poshmark for sure. All right, this is a Department 56 advent calendar. Again, I think they look like they're um, hanging. I don't know if this uh, piece is excellent vintage condition. Box has somewhere on the corners. See pictures. Um, so yeah, this one has been opened. So the Department 56, they're definitely hanging. The knockoff one that was shown, or it could have just been a different year, but if it wasn't marked, it probably wasn't Department 56, was magnetic. Both are cool. It just wasn't Department 56, I don't think. This one sold for 185. Here is an LL Bean. Now, the LL Bean sold for 175 on um, Poshmark. So it sold for more on Poshmark and, uh, I'm sorry, sold for more on Poshmark, more than uh, Mercari and eBay both. So here is a Bucilla Nativity Advent Calendar craft kit unopened. This sold for $125. People love Advent calendars, you guys. Here's another uh, Department 56. This one sold for $110. It says one horn missing red string. So this one had a little bit of an issue. This is the Avon Advent Tree. It sold for $100 over here on Poshmark. Vintage Disney Winnie the Pooh Polyester Felt Christmas Advent Calendar. This one sold for $95. I absolutely love this one. And this is another one. Um, I bet the Rebel reseller would love this also. But I am thinking they probably could have got more for this. I don't know. I just feel like it, but I could be wrong. Fisher Price Nativity. They're little plush, soft... Um, Fisher Price, little people, you guys, how cute is this? Sold for $80 on uh, Poshmark. This one is a hanging Santa advent calendar, and this one sold for $75. How cute is that? And this vintage quilted advent calendar. So they don't all have to be branded to still do well. Um, they have Velcro in the description. Do not use the word Velcro in your description, in your title on eBay. I would not use it anywhere. Um, Velcro will come after you. Um, but eBay specifically, that is a item that will get your, or a word that will get your item removed. I have a whole series on Vero items and policy violations for eBay. Definitely check out that video if you are an eBay seller. Um, Poshmark and Mercari, I don't know if they buckle down on it, but best to just use the word hook and loop to be safe because um, as these platforms get bigger, these companies are gonna start coming after them as well is what I think. Here's another Anna Lee countdown calendar. Again, I'm surprised this didn't go for more. This one sold for $55 plus shipping. And let me show you this here, okay? We are looking at Poshmark and this is somebody that says they are looking for the advent calendar, $5. Um, well, all they had to do is click search and they could have definitely looked for it. But look at this, you guys, somebody sold one for $25. They didn't know. This could be an example of maybe a hobby seller or somebody that doesn't look up comps. So you can find treasures on Poshmark and Mercari, even eBay of people who are not doing their research and you can find those items super cheap. $40, $40. Now these did not have, let's see. This one doesn't have the mouse. This says mouse, but I don't see the mouse. But all three of these sold for $40, $50, $75. Okay, these have the mouse. Um, 85 is still pretty good. So definitely search these platforms for people that are maybe underselling items. And Christmas, it's probably not going to happen as much. Uh, so let's go over here. Somebody sold the mouse for $8, you guys. You can get 25 to $40 for just the mouse. I can't remember exactly. I didn't pull it up this time, but they way undersold that for eight bucks. Um, here's the replacement mouse. These are the ones that people are making. 
Um, so they're selling them for $23, $24 and they're just handmade by someone. Again, be careful with keyword spamming. Um, you don't want to do that. $29 over here. Now this one does say Joe 1987. So that's probably why this one sold for less, but Hey, Joe's a pretty popular name, right? Um, but probably Joe 87, that's going to be a little harder to find, but it could happen. $32. This one got sold for, uh, so definitely $42 on this one. You can source on these platforms. So again, if you're not on Mercari and Poshmark, my link is down below. If you use that to join, you're going to get a $10 credit to shop. So you can get that item maybe even cheaper. All right. Here is one that I recently sold and I picked this up at the Goodwill bins. I knew it was going to be a major bread and butter, but I just had a feeling that it would sell. It's handmade. The stitching is not great. It's it's not a great item, but it's a Scotty Terrier. And I just felt like it would sell. And it did. I sold it for $11.16 plus shipping. Here is my advent calendar. You guys, I sold it. I, I sold it for, I think I took a best offer of $120. I, I feel like they left me like a little note and I, I got it really cheap. And I just went ahead and took the offer of 120. Could I have gotten more? Most definitely. Um, I do have one more listed currently for sale and I sold one mm, probably three or four months ago also. So I found two of them at the Goodwill bins and I found one at a garage sale for a dollar and I have found another one at a garage sale, which I think I bundled together and I think I had about a, a dollar in that as well. So advent calendars, what do you guys think? Um, let me know in the comments if you have sold an advent calendar and how much you sold it for, what brand it was. And um, thank you so much for being here. Be sure to subscribe. And if you're new here, let me know how you found the channel. Thanks for watching.